Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hasham Ali Khan. So now in this video, I am going to start the next problem, problem number 10 on techniques of financial statement analysis. So far, six short problems and nine long problems I have explained in the previous videos. So different techniques are there for uh, analyzing the financial statements. The theory I have explained in two videos. So if you have not watched those videos, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject cost control and management accounting, select the videos of techniques of financial statement analysis. Watch the first two videos, be acquainted thorough on the techniques of comparative statement, common size statement and trend analysis. Now I'm going to start the next problem, problem number 10. But before starting that problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Now uh, see the 10th one. The following are the balance sheets, extracts from the balance sheets for the year 16 and 17 and the supporting notes to the accounts. Prepare the comparative balance sheet and comment on the financial position. So we have to prepare the comparative balance sheet and we have to give the comment on the financial position. So here the data is given 6% <clears throat> preferences, equity share capital reserves. First of all, you must remember the format of the balance sheet. So here the present format which is being followed is the vertical format, statement format in which the liabilities are divided into three categories, shareholders fund, non-current liability and current liability. And assets are divided into two categories that, that is non-current assets, fixed assets and then current assets right already two three problems we have done in the last videos the format of balance sheet same thing six percent preferential capital equity share capital reserves now you can see the solution here comparative balance sheet for the year 16 17 four columns last year 16 current year 17 absolute change percentage change so first of all equity and liabilities shareholders fund share capital in which we have 6% preferential capital last year 30,000 current year 30,000 then equity share capital 40,000 40,000 reserves in surplus 20,000 24 fine so whatever amount are given in the problem I have taken so total A 90,000 is the total of shareholders fund last year and current year 94 find it Second comes non-current liabilities. You can see the debentures. Debentures are 10,000, 15,000. Same thing, B. Current liabilities are three. That is outstanding tax, creditors, and bills payable. Outstanding tax, creditors, bills payable. Same amount I have taken. C. A is the shareholders fund. B is the non-current liability. And C is the current liability. A plus B plus C. The total of the liability is side. Last year 1,30,000, current year 1,52,000. Now we'll come to the asset side. Assets are divided into two categories, non-current assets, fixed assets and current assets. The fixed assets are land, building, plant, furniture. So land, building, plant, furniture. So all the values, whatever is given in the problem, I have copied. Then current assets are stock, detours, cash. Last three items, stock, detours, cash. So here D is the total of fixed assets and E is the total of current assets. So total D plus E, 1,30,000, 1,52,000. Balance sheet tallied because liability side and asset side both are equal for last year as well as current year. After making the balance sheet, now we have to find out the absolute change. Absolute change means current year value minus last year value. So for 30,000 minus 30,000, zero, no change. 40,000 minus 40,000, no change. 24,500 minus 20,000, 4,500 is the absolute change. Now percentage change, absolute change divided by last year value into 100. So 4,500 divided by 20,000 into 100, you will get 22.5. Similarly, 94,500 minus 90,000, 4,500. Now, 4,500 divided by 90,000 into 100, you'll get 5. Like this, you have to calculate all the absolute change and percentage change for all the values. Already we have done in the previous problem also. So, after calculating this absolute change and percentage change, this is the end of comparative statement. Now, it is asking you, to give the interpretation, to give the comment on the financial position. So how to give the comment already in the previous problem, I told you again, I'm repeating, 
we compare the current assets and current liability to give the opinion on liquidity position. You can see current liabilities. The current liability is increased by 41.67%. You can see here that C is the total of current liability. C is the total. So 12,500 is the absolute change, percentage change 41.67. This is the change in current liability. Now what is the change in current assets? You can see here, the current assets changed by 48%. The current assets changed by 48% and current liability increased by 41.67%. That means the increase in current liability is less than the increase in current assets. In other words, current assets increased at a higher rate than current liability. In this way, we can say the liquidity position has improved in the current year 2017. Current year 2017, the short term liquidity position has improved because current assets have increased more than current liability. That's what first interpretation. The second interpretation, we compare the long term funds with fixed assets because it's a prudent financial management policy that fixed assets must be financed from long term funds. The long term funds consist of share capital and non current liability. These two combined together constitutes long term funds. So now we have to compare what is the percentage at which fixed assets is increasing? What is the percentage at which long term funds are increasing? Now you can see the fixed assets. There is no change in land and building. In land building last year 30,000, current year 27,000. That means there is decrease in the value of building. Plant last year 30, current year 27, again decrease. Now furniture 10,000, 14,000, 4,000 increase. So if you find this fixed assets, all the fixed assets have decreased except one that is furniture. Only furniture increased, remaining assets have decreased. And here long term funds, the total A increased by 5%. That means shareholders fund increased by 5%. Whereas non-current liability debenture increased by 50%. Debenture is a long-term fund increased by 50%. Whereas the current assets increase, uh, fixed assets in uh, fixed assets, there is a decrease in fixed asset by 2.5%. Last year 80,000, current year 78,000. And only furniture is increased. So we can assume that furniture was purchased from debenders. By issuing the debentures, the company has purchased the furniture. It's a prudent policy because the fixed assets are financed by long term funds. Last one, reserves. Normally the profitability can be gauged from reserves. Last year reserves 20,000, current year 24,500. So only 4,500 reserves have increased. In percentage terms, 22.5% reserves have increased. It denotes that there is a moderate profitability. The profitability is not high, but moderate profit profitability is there because the reserves have increased. That's all. Now we can give the conclusion. The overall financial position of the company is satisfactory. From this analysis, we can conclude that the overall financial position of the business is satisfactory, which is revealed from this ratios so this is the end of problem number 10 come on now i'm going to start the next problem problem number 11 following information is extracted from the financial statements of ravi limited for the year ended 31st 12 2016 and 2017 last year 2016 current year 2017 here the data is given provision for bad debts machinery building Bills payable, outstanding expenses, debentures, share capital, PL account, cash in hand, prepared expenses, bills receivable, inventories, investments. Then machinery at cost, building at cost, land. Prepare comparative balance sheet, just like the previous problem. Comparative balance sheet we have to make. The figures are given for 2016 and 2017. So this is the format. Comparative balance sheet, Ravi Limited, 31st 12, 2016, 2017, four columns, 2016, 2017, absolute change, percentage change. First, we write the format. The format is 
three items on liability side, two items on asset side. The three items on liability side are shareholders fund, non-current liability and current liability as usual. So if you see the problem, two items are there of shareholders fund. That is share capital and PL account. Last year, current year values are given. So take the total A. Now non-current liability, only one item is given that is debentures. So last year, current year I have taken that is denoted as B. Current liabilities are two, that is bills payable and outstanding expenses. The amounts are given in the problem. That will be treated as C. So all these are the values which are given in the problem. Same thing I have copied for A, B and C. The total of A, B and C is the total of the liability side. So liability side total last year, 150,000. Current year, 165,750. That's all. Now come to the asset side. Asset side, we divide the assets into two categories, non-current assets and current assets. The non-current assets consist of fixed assets. In our problem, three fixed assets are given, that is machinery, building and land. Now one new point is, <clears throat> machinery is given at cost and provision for depreciation on machinery is given. But we need the written down value. Written down value means cost minus depreciation. For example, the first is machinery. The machinery cost is given on the next page that is 12,500. 12,500 is the cost of the machinery. Provision for depreciation on machinery is 1,500. So from that amount of 12,500, we deduct 1,500. The remaining amount is 11,000. That 11,000 I have taken here. That means cost minus depreciation. That's why I have written machinery less depreciation. So it is not deducted. We have to deduct. Similarly, current year machinery is 20,000. And the depreciation on machinery is 3,750. So 20,000 minus 3,750, you will get 16,250. 16,250. Same thing we have to follow for building. Building cost minus provision for depreciation. Provision for depreciation is given. After deducting depreciation, building value is 31,500 last year. Current year 36,000. Land. There will never be any depreciation on land. Land is non-depreciable asset. So same value. So this is the total of D. Non-current assets. Now current assets consist of cash in hand. Whatever is given in the problem, same thing I have taken. Prepaid expenses, same thing I have taken. Bills receivable, less provision for doubtful debts. Actually provision for doubtful debts will be deducted from debtors. But in our problem, debtors are not given. Bills receivable is given. So we deduct the provision for doubtful debts from bills receivable. So after deducting provision for doubtful debts, we are getting 39,000 and 43,500. Inventories, same thing I have taken. Investment. It is not, uh, not given in the problem whether investments are short term investment or long term investment. We have assumed that investment are short term investment. That's why we have taken it under current assets. So investment I have taken. E is the total. E is the total of current assets. Now we take the total D plus E. Non-current non assets and current assets. D plus E. So total is 150,000, 165,750. Balance sheet talent. Liability side you can see 150,000, 165,750. Here also 150,000, 165,750. That's all. So we have completed the first two columns. Last year and current year. Now absolute change. There is no change. 1 lakh, 1 lakh. So no absolute change, no percentage change. Here 26,000 26, minus 11,250. Current year value minus last year value. Absolute change 14,250. Now percentage change. Absolute change divided by last year's figure into 100. So 14,250 divided by 11,750 into 100. You get 121.28. Here also 126,000 minus 111,750. You will get 14,250. Now 14,250 divided by 111,750. You will get 12.75. Like this you have to make all calculations. Absolute change means current year value minus last year value. And percentage change means absolute change divided by last year's value into 100. That's all. We have made all the calculations. Now it is asking you to give the interpretation. Already every problem I am explaining you how to give the interpretation.
We compare the current assets with current liabilities to give the opinion about liquidity, short term liquidity. Here the current liabilities have increased by 21.92%. Two current liabilities are the bills payable outstanding expense. The total current liability increased by 21.92%. Now come to current assets. The current assets are here. The total current assets increased by 5.85%. The current assets increased by 5.85%. Current liabilities increased by 21.92%. In other words, current liability increased at a much higher rate than current assets. The liquidity position is not good. Normally what should happen? The current assets percentage should be more than current liability. But here it is opposite. Current liability is more than current assets. By comparing this, we can conclude the liquidity position is not good in current year 2017. The short term liquidity position has deteriorated in the year 2017. That's the first conclusion. Now, second conclusion regarding the purchase of fixed assets. It's a prudent financial management policy that fixed assets should be financed from long term funds. The long term funds consist of shareholders fund and non current liabilities. Shareholders fund and non current liability combined together constitutes long term funds. From this long term funds, fixed assets should be purchased. Now you can see machinery increased by 47.73% and building increased by 14.29%. And there is no change in land. So totally, the increase in non-current asset, fixed asset is 20.53. 20.53 is the percentage increase in fixed assets. Now this much the long-term fund should increase. But what is happening? Debentures are decreased. Last year debenture 20,000, current year debenture 17,500. Debentures have been decreased. There is no share capital increase. That means share capital has not increased and then debentures have also decreased. Then how come from where we have purchased this current fixed assets? It is purchased from current liabilities. It is not a prudent financial management policy. The fixed assets should never, never be purchased from current liability. Actually, fixed assets should be financed from long term funds. So in this problem, there is no increase in long term funds, but there is increase in fixed assets. It indicates the business is not following a prudent financial management policy. That is the second. Third one, there is a huge increase in profit and loss account balance. You can see PL account balance last year 11,750, 11, current year 26,000. The percentage terms PL account increased by 121.28%. There is a huge increase in PL account indicating that there may be profit. The profit earned during the year. That's why there is a huge increase in PL account. Lastly, from the above comparative analysis, it appears that the financial position of the company is not satisfactory. Profitability is good, but overall financial position appears not satisfactory because there is a problem of short term liquidity position. Current assets and current liability are not matching and fixed assets are financed from short term funds. So in this way, we can conclude that the liquidity position, the, sorry, the financial position of the business is not satisfactory in the year 2017. So this is the end of problem number 11. Totally 11 main problems I have completed on techniques of analysis of financial statements. Inshallah, we'll continue the next problem in the next video.